Hi, this is Michelle Martella from Minima Designs, and I'm going to show you the easy way to make a landing page. Now, when you're first getting started in online business, this can seem really complex, but basically a landing page is just a simple place where you can send people to get on your list. We want to capture their name, their email, and ideally we want to send them something in exchange. So I'm going to create a landing page for my new ebook, Getting Paid Online. I've already created a sales page and I'm selling my ebook, but I want to give people a free chapter from the guide so they can check it out. And to do that, I'm going to create a landing page. So I'm going to show you the process that I use. Now, I don't actually get started with design. Where I get started is copy. So what I've done is create a simple Google Doc. And you can see here, I've got a title, I've got copy and a call to action. The other things that I like to get, and you don't have to do this, but I do this so it keeps my life easy. Um, I find the colors that I want to use. So this is called a hex code. If you've got a color palette for your website or your online business, you'll probably have this already. If not, no worries. But I want to just keep everything in one place so this makes my process go really smoothly. And the final thing that I'm going to create is a thank you page on my website. So this is a page that I send people to after they opt in. So after they give me their name and email address, I can send them to a page that allows me to track where people are coming from. I can even promote and sell other things on that thank you page. I'll show you that a little bit later in the process. Okay. So we've got our landing page copy next. I want to go ahead and actually create the landing page. Now I'm already logged into my ConvertKit account, which is my email marketing service. It is my actual account. So I'm going to be blurring some things out and where I'm going to go is up top. I'm going to go to landing pages and forms and I'm going to click create new. I'll select landing page and now you see a wide variety of templates. There's a lot of great ones here, but there's one that I tend to use just because it already kind of matches my look and feel and it's pretty simple and straightforward. So I'm going to scroll down and click on this one called Stark. You don't have to use this one. This is just the one that I use. I'll click choose. And now I can start editing this page. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually rename the landing page. Uh, I'm going to change it from the template. So this so that I know what this is when six months from now I'm looking at what was this landing page again? So I'm going to give it a name that makes sense for me. Next, I'm going to change out this big photo to do that. I can click on the photo here and I can either upload an image or use one that I've already created. So I've already uploaded some photos in the past. I'm just going to use one that I've already uploaded. You can edit the image inside of here as well. I tend to edit inside Photoshop or Canva or some other tool and then upload. So I've got my photo. Well, next I want to change this color. This color doesn't quite match my branding. So remember I had saved that hex code. I'm going to go back to my document. A hex code is basically just numbers and letters that equal a color. And so you can either figure this out yourself or you can use the color picker here. Um, I tend to just use my hex color so that I know it matches all my branding. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there and you can see how it changes that color. It already looks better because it's matching my hair, which is a good thing. So next I'm going to go ahead and add my copy. I'm going to go back to this Google doc. And so you can see, I can kind of go back and forth really easily. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right in here. Now I can tighten it up a little bit. I can make the font size different. Maybe I'll bump it up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click the little eyedropper here. That's going to again, give me the color picker. Uh, I can also type in the hex. So if you know the hex value, you can just go ahead and type it in or paste it in. Okay. Next, I want to change this title. Now I will say sometimes I have trouble copying and pasting the title, so I'm just going to type this in. So I'm going to type in my copy and then I'm going to change this color. I know I want to make this white, so I'm just going to type that in or use the color picker here. Okay. That looks pretty good. I've got email address, but you know what? I also want to get people's first name. So I'm going to click this plus button here and we can either add a custom field. So if you want to ask something specific, you can, but, um, by default, you can get the first name and last name. I want to get the first name. So I'm going to do that. Um, uh, but maybe I want the first name to show up first above the email. So we'll change that. Uh, I'm going to change subscribe to get your free guide. And then let's, let's go ahead and change these colors too. So I think I'm just going to go very simple. I'm going to go black and white. It's already starting to look a lot better. I'm going to turn off the built with convert kit. 
that's gonna make it start to look a lot cleaner there. Okay, great, so I've got it looking pretty much how I want it to look. Now we've gotta make sure that it actually works. So let's go through and modify the settings. I'm gonna click the gear here. And the first thing I'm going to set up is I want to send people to that thank you page when they've subscribed. So I'm going to click redirect to an external page. And remember again, I've saved everything here so I can easily go back and forth. So I'm not hunting for things. I've already created this page and we'll show it to you at the end here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this thank you page, go back to here, paste that in there. Next, I'm going to click this little envelope. And I want to give people the freebie chapter, the sample. So I'm going to redirect when they've confirmed their email address, I'm going to give them the freebie. So I'm going to select download here and I'm going to choose a file. I've already created my PDF. Again, if you've created all your stuff beforehand, this can go really fast. So I'm going to cl click that and select open. And then the next thing I can do is edit the email that people get when they're confirming their subscription. So for now, I'm gonna leave it as is, but I think I wanna change this button color. So I'm gonna go back, grab my hex code again. You can see you go back and forth a lot. Click here, and then I can change this background color. Again, you get the color picker, you can pop in your hex, and you see how everything starts to feel really cohesive. Now, I've also created a template and modified some things, so you may not have all of this stuff in yours, um, but this you will definitely have, so you're able to change that. Okay. So we've got that, we're sending the email. Next, I'm gonna click this next gear button and we can decide if we want to continue to show the form or hide it. Since this is a landing page, I'm gonna keep it just continue to show the form so that if people go to the page, they're gonna see it no matter what. And finally, we're able to modify the title and description that show up when we're sharing the page. So a lot of people miss this step. I think it's really important. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy that same copy and put it here. And you can always go back here and edit this. So this is what's nice about this is that you're not set in stone. It's not like an image or anything. You can totally change this anytime. Okay, so that feels really good. Uh, we could certainly also change the image that shows when we're sharing it, but I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Okay, pretty happy with all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and publish. Now, if I want to simply share my page, I can click the share button here and I'll get a URL that I can share with people. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna open it up in a new window. And here you can see the actual landing page. I might wanna tweak some things like some spacing, but you get the general idea. Now you could stop here or if you've got a WordPress site, this is like my favorite, favorite feature about ConvertKit landing pages. We can actually take this page and embed it in our website. So I'm gonna show you that next. So here we are on the back end of my website, and I've already got the ConvertKit for WordPress plugin installed and activated on my site. Now, the first thing I do is I go to settings and then ConvertKit. I'm gonna go ahead and click refresh forms. I do this after every time I'm creating new forms, just so all the data comes in correctly. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my pages, and I need to create a new page that's basically a placeholder for the landing page. I'm gonna click add new, and I'll give the page the title that I want to show up. So I'm gonna call this ideas to get paid. Then I'll click publish. And again, keep in mind, my site will likely look different than yours, but next I wanna scroll down to where I find my ConvertKit information. So in the ConvertKit section, you should see something called landing page. And here's where you can select the landing page you just created, which is why you wanna name something, something you'll remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and select here and getting paid landing, perfect. Now you can add a tag here. I tend to do all of my tagging inside a ConvertKit so I don't forget anything. So I'm gonna leave this as is, and I'm gonna go ahead and click update. I'm gonna go ahead and open link in a new window. There's my landing page, how easy was that? So there's one more thing I wanna show you inside a ConvertKit that I don't want you to miss. I'm going to go back to my ConvertKit account and I'm going to go to automations. Now I tend to do everything in rules. You can also do visual automations. I just tend to keep my life easier and just do it all in rules. So I want to add a rule that basically subscribes people to my welcome sequence if they've opted in to this landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and say subscribes to a form. I'm going to select the form here. So it should show up in the landing page. So both your forms and landing pages show up here. That might be a little confusing. And then I want to subscribe them to a sequence. I've already created my welcome sequence, so it's welcome to minimum. And then I may also want to tag people. So I can add a tag 
and I could create a new tag or select from a whole bunch of tags. So I'm going to create a new tag called getting paid freebie and click save rule. So now when anybody subscribes to this form, they'll get added to my welcome sequence and also get tagged. Now let's go back to our landing page and test it. You always want to make sure you test it, make sure you didn't miss any parts of the process. So I'm going to put in here like a, a test account that I have. I'm going to click get my free guide. And you can see I've gotten sent to that thank you page. Now, when I go back and check my email and I confirm my email address, I should get the download. So you'll want to make sure that you test this. Now here's that thank you page. And I wanted to show you this because this is a great opportunity to connect with people on Instagram or social media. It's also a great place for you to promote other products. So right here, of course, I'm promoting my ebook uh, or a couple of my eBooks, and I could also promote other services and things like that. So you always want to think about taking your subscribers on a journey. You don't want to leave them hanging. So always make sure you're sending them someplace. For more information and tutorials, come visit me at minimadesigns.com.